Greetings once again, Lego friends. And here we are at the uh, park um, rebuild, if you will, for Kerplunkistan. So, uh, as you can see, what we have basically here is one set of the Lego Friends Botanical Garden. Uh, a lot of the details I did not put on uh, because, again, I'm not really trying to just build the botanical garden set straight out of the box, and I'm not really trying to combine uh, two of them just to have a mirror image of um, this set, right? Most important thing I wanted was just something complete uh, with the dome up top. So, you guys might have figured out... Um, obviously before I did, that uh, I had this figured all wrong, um, but I think it actually is going to work out all right. So for some odd reason, um, I thought that these domes were going to go this direction to the far corner of uh, my mills plate over here. But uh, as you can see, of course, um, they come this way. So the way I've got this now, um, it's going to require building on uh, this mills plate and this one as well in order to get the whole botanical garden there. But I, I'm actually okay with that because I've got the water running here in the waterfall and I want that water to continue and run throughout my whole city park. So this section, of course, is the Lego Ideas Treehouse. And it has a little area for water. So um, at some point I'll have to decide just what path do I want this water to take. And I'm going to have to make the big decision if I want to change out these trans blue windows for trans light blue uh, tiles. Because that's what I have most of is the tiles. I don't have a bunch of these um, windows which give a, the water a really cool depth. Um, and I don't know, maybe it will work together as a transition to light trans blue tiles, but I'm not counting on it, right? So that might change completely, but we'll have the waterfall here. We'll have the water continue here in some direction and then go around the Lego Ideas treehouse and then back over here and around the outside of the botanical garden there. So very fun. So what you see now is, yeah, half of the set and then I've kind of laid out um, where uh, the next assemblies would need to be in order to support the remainder of the dome here so that I have a full dome. This is a tree that goes inside. I think it would be very cool if this was a, a water a well, like a spring well. Water flies up here and then drips down over to here and then down to that waterfall. But I think that is a bit ambitious. I think perhaps it could be done. Um, but right, right now, that's a bit ambitious. So yeah, I do not want to build a mirror image of what you see here. I'm not going to build, at least I'm not planning to build another one of these with the waterfall or another one of these sections here. And I may even get inside those and change out the deal details in there um, and just make it a little bit more uh, wild with the flowers and plants and so forth. I have not put up any of the little signs that tell you what the plants are or anything. I think I will do that here at some point. But most of all, what I want to have is simply these archways uh, duplicated here and here, which are the supports for uh, this dome. And I've, I've figured out already, you can see, uh, now that this this is something I made up myself here to click into the other two pieces of the dome because if you if you open one set you're only going to have a clip here and then it had a double clip piece here um, for these two so I've changed that all out in hopes that I can then link my other two dome pieces on there and I think that's going to work out fine so that is where we're at. Fortunately, I have a bunch of these um, trans uh, uh, parent uh, pillars here. I got quite a bunch of those, and I just got a bunch from that pick a brick wall at the Lego store over in uh, Meridian, Idaho. So I've got a bunch of those. Um, 
So yeah, I don't think I'll have too much trouble um, making a decent, um, decent set of arches here that support these two domes. So yeah, I wanted to do this video before I went ahead and opened this guy um, and broke into it because that's what I'm going to have to do. I have a lot of parts left over, of course, from the first set, but the fact is I need the dome pieces and I need the arch pieces um, to support the rest of the dome. So that is next. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. It's going okay. I'm okay with it. Um, I don't mind that it spills over into these two sections because um, if I have to, I should be able to uh, disconnect um, at some point on either side here if I need to separate these. That's something I'm going to have to keep in mind. Um, it may be just as simple as disconnecting the dome from up here, and then that section will come off here. Same with this here, right? Um, we shall see. So that's it. Um, who knows? Maybe everything will completely be abandoned or changed by the next video. But I am going to move forward. And that requires me to open up this guy and uh, get started. So I uh, appreciate your support. I hope you'll um, jump in on the next one and see where I'm at. And uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. I, uh, I really do appreciate it. Hope you're having a great one. And we'll talk to you on the next video. See ya.